Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Admiral Markets. Today's webinar, Introduction to Chaos Theory. Today we are going to talk a little about and we will make uh, some new entry in trading. Uh, we will talk about Chaos Theory and uh, at the end of the webinar, that will be the final part of the webinar, I will be presenting you a basic Chaos Theory system and I will explain how it works because it uses a set of indicators which are integrated into our MetaTrader 4 platform. So I will I will show you how to do that. I will show you how to make entries. And just before we start, I need to say that of course uh, register for our session recap webinars. They are basically every every Monday. They are every Monday same time. Next one is on 27 January and if you've been following me you know that we have been we made a lot of pips if you traded especially euro dollar GBP cad uh, uh, GBP pound dollar you know now euro is around 3540 and you remember our uh, setup to sell around 3580 I hope that you have taken a trade we had two chances to take the trade so I still wait for those for that bearish momentum. Uh, it's all about range, but I still wait for that bearish momentum. And of course, sign in for other webinars which are held by my colleague Chris Forsick, and there are, there is a lot to learn. And I hope that it uh, really really helps you. So just before we begin, as always, risk disclosure statement by proceeding further with me you agree to all the risks associated with Forex market. As always, same procedure, okay? Now, also, if you want me to analyze uh, additional pairs, just write it in. You know, uh, last week we had a GBP Cadwish, we also had GBP New Zealand, but I didn't manage to make it. I will make it probably tomorrow because I can see there is a new GBP, GBP New Zealand, a new setup. So I will, I will analyze whatever you want, because I don't trade just Euro Dollar, there are also other pairs to trade. So don't hesitate to say which pairs you want me to analyze and give you possible setups. Okay? So, that's about our session recaps. Now, also special book gift. As you know, Trading the Battle Plan is our book. You should invite three friends on webinars and if they attend the webinars, of course, you will get a book at the end of the week or maybe by the end of the week. But surely you will get that book. It's good. I have I have also done some parts in it, so it should be good. Uh, also today we are going to talk about a little about Bill Williams, indicators which are used in a system and chaos system presented. So stay with me, there will be some interesting topics to cover today. I will try to be as concise as I can and to concentrate to giving you the full knowledge of introductory webinar to chaos theory. So this is, maybe we will have the second part, but the first part is important because I, at the end of the webinar, you will see this chaos system and how it works. Now there is also a question, Ante, can you analyze standard and poor? Is it time to retrace a little bit? I don't have the chart uh, uh, before my eyes. I cannot see it, but uh, I, I'm not sure that uh, our platform has a S&P. So I would like to analyze it, of course. It's, it's not a problem at all. But I don't think that the platform supports it at the moment. It has. Yeah, okay, I will. I, I didn't. Whew, I will see. I will see. If it has, I will, I will turn it on 
and I will analyze it. Okay, I will write it down so no problems at all. Also, you can write about. <laughs> You're welcome, Ante. If you want other pairs, I don't know, GBP CAD, GBP Aussie, uh, maybe Euro Australian dollar. Guys, uh, just write. I will do that for you and I want you to also trade other pairs, not just major pairs. Because uh, we will all have uh, time for trading uh, Euro dollar, GBP, Aussie, you know, standard pairs. But also there will be times when uh, setups for other pairs can come in handy. So why would we trade one or two pairs when we can trade 20 pairs, okay? Or as I do it, five or six pairs, how I show you. Yeah, all Australian dollar is our standard, standard uh, session recap. So probably, probably I will also make, uh, yeah, maybe I will make an intraday setups for us, yeah. Okay, now we can, we can start with, with, Will, with Will Williams. So who was Bill Williams? Bill Williams was a trader who is most famous for his chaos theory. Uh, in his books, he agreed that chaos represents basically a high degree of order. So he didn't refer to chaos as uh, something chaotic, something that uh, that is not stable. He he was thinking. Uh, and he was doing his research about chaos as a uh, unity. So according to his opinion, chaos represents permanent stability. It is high degree of order. And in that degree of order, there is also a chaos. So you can, you can watch that as basically a permanent war be between good and bad. If there uh, were no good, there won't be also bad. So that is basically those things that counter each other, they are in a chaos, but in that chaos we can establish a high degree of order. Okay? So although chaos is perceived as a chaotic structure, its essence is exact opposite of chaos. So, in its essence, it is an opposite. So, market is chaotic in its nature. But also, by observing that through dimensions, which Bill Williams suggested, we can see the exact essence of the chaos, which is in fact order. So, that, that sounds a bit weird and a bit paradoxical, but if you analyze his sayings, his books, and the sentences that he used, basically what, what, what he was trying to accomplish is a unique strategy which can be used in forex market, in a future market, in stock exchange, something which, which can be used in all times, at all time frames, in all compositions. So based on a theory, chaos theory, it implies that the investor who starts from a linear perspective will never see the real market, thus risking permanent loss. So if you observe the market as a linear perspective, trend, ups, downs, without those waves in it. And he referred to that waves as Elliott waves. We would never see the real market and we are risking a permanent loss. Chaos theory denies that by implying that price behaves in future as in past. So it behaves in future as it behaved in past. Bill Williams worked out so-called profit unity or chaos theory. So that was his work. 
above everything he was he was implying he was talking about chaos structure a fractal theory and uh, at the end of the webinar, the third part of the webinar, I will show you in, in essence how he calculated his indicators and what they are based on. He said that financial markets can be examined as five dimensions. First is, the first is fractal dimension. It's so-called phase space. The second is driving force, its power phase. Then there is acceleration and deceleration, so it's also part of the power phase. Then there is a zone, it's a combination of strength and a power phase and a balance line. Fractal or phase space is something that we also use as our entry indicator when we trade his chaos system. Driving force or power phase is basically an awesome oscillator which gives us power shifts in between bulls and bears if we apply it to financial markets. Acceleration and deceleration which is a part of power phase is his accelerator indicator which also give us a momentum or momentum shift for a possible entry. Then there is a zone in between one and another fractal and there is a balance line. Balance line is basically an alligator which is sleeping when balance line is in equilibrium, then those lines intervene, alligator is sleeping, and we do not trade. When alligator jaws is open, then we can take a trade. So, five dimensions in a chaos. Each dimension adds extra information to the general picture of the market, so to fully understand, he, so we need to fully understand his need to measure the market in all five dimensions. All of these, all of these dimensions are represented in his indicators. So Bill Williams has managed to develop special indicators which are aligned with these, within these principles. And how I know it, I, I don't know if that is uh, accurate information, but uh, because I, have, I was talking uh, extensively with traders who traded Bill Williams' uh, system strategy or uh, trading methods which are based on Bill Williams' chaos principles, they told me that uh, Bill Williams indeed, uh, he used basically supercomputers in that time. So that was some time ago, 20, 30 years. In, in, in that time he used best computers of that time to calculate the possible indicators timings so he can measure those dimensions. Now, it took him about, I don't know, 10, 15 years to get that into. So now, I don't know if that is correct information, but I'm telling you what I, he what I heard. And, well, you will see uh, when you apply the, the, the principles in, in that, in, to that basic system, which he created, call it profit unity, you will see that there is some logic in be behind that. But I need to say that uh, chaos principles, at least in profit unity, only work in trending markets, okay? Now, another thing to add, the time has changed and 
not each time, not each and every time it can be tested thoroughly. So today, again, we would need to test it in these market conditions because it's not the same as it was some um, 20, 30 years ago. And now we come to the essence of uh, Bill Williams' chaos principle. He implied that by using his chaos system, we can look into the future because those lines which he chose to be alligator lines are set into the future. So that means that we can basically read where the market will go. Okay? So those are chaos principles. Uh, also, some of those principles which he implied is that anything can happen because the market is, it's not I can say random, but the ma market is very un unpredictable. But you don't need to know what is going on to happen or what is going to happen next in order to make money. Even though market is unpredictable, you don't need to know what is going to happen to make money. So basically he again implied by those statements that we, what we need to do is we need to uh, react. We don't need to to predict, okay? So reaction is what it counts. Or, and by looking in some of his dimensions, we can see once we make an entry where the price will go. Also, there is a random distribution between wins and losses for any given set of variables that define an edge. That edge, he told us, is basically his indicators, sorry, his chaos indicators. That is an edge. And by using that indicators, basically, we are stacking the odds in our favor. So an edge is additional probability. How I, uh, how I understood this from my point of view? You know when I, how I uh, usually teach you what the market is. When you enter the market, there is 50-50% of a chance that you would win, okay? So there is 50-50, you don't know. So you open your trend, trade randomly, there is 50 to 50% chance that you would probably get some winning pips and or losing pips. But uh, by using proper indicators, let's call it which are incorporated in a system, strategy or a method, you can raise your chances to 70-30, okay? So basically, an edge is additional probability. So by using his set of indicators, we will get those winning part of the system work in our favor. But also, every moment in the market is unique. That is why he called the space between fractals waves. So basically those are Elliott waves which make the space between the fractals. In order to win, you need to align the dimensions. Okay? So how I understood it is don't go counter trend, go just with a trend because the trend is the current and the future, the present and the future. So that is the trend. Now, what are indicators which are used in chaos theory and chaos systems? It's alligator, we have three SMAs, but also with a future offset of 
853 respectively. There are three SMAs with a future of set. So that means they are projected into the future. We have fractals, five bar sequence where middle one has highest high, lowest low, and it's preceded and followed two bars with lower highs and higher lows. I will show you fractals. Awesome oscillator. Difference between the 34 period and 5 period simple moving average of the bar's midpoints. This is the formula. Acceleration oscillator. Difference between 534 momentum histogram. Awesome oscillator. And a 5 bar simple moving average of the AO. Those indicators present basically this. Fractals, driving force, awesome escalator, ex uh, awesome oscillator, acceleration, accelerator, oscil uh, oscillator, zones and balance line which is indicator. Zones are also defined by fractals. We will see that now. How we make entries with chaos, basic chaos, profitunity system. When alligator lines are opening, we put a buy stop one point above or below, depends on the trend, the most recent fractal outside of the lines in trend direction. For the first entries, fractal always need to be broken. Exit. When alligator lines are closing, we are closing too. We stay out of the market when and while lies are intertwining. So he says that alligator is sleeping and basically when we spot these, that these lines are intervening, we exit the trade and we do not enter the trade. Because uh, chaos works as a trend, trend system. I can say that it's of course much better to use it on higher time frames. Because on lower time frames, lower time frames, it can be a little bit of whipsaw, especially I have tested it on lower time frame lower time frames. That means lower time frames are five minutes, also a minute. And to be honest, guys, I don't like it on those low time frames. I don't like it how it behaves on lower time frames. So I would suggest using it on one hour, four hour time frames. Maybe 15 minutes, but I'm not sure. Probably what I, what I saw is one hour to four hour. Now, we can also add to a trend. And how we add in chaos theory? In, in standard, you know that how I teach. In standard trend setting, we will also exploit the first swing to the upside on the confluence. So if there is a Fibonacci retracement and a trend line, we should open a trade where there is a confluence or possibly at a touch of the trend line. Then, if the trend continues, then we will also use Fibonacci retracement tools, pivot points, and add more. The principles for a chaos system adding or scaling into a trade are a little bit different. So, after the first fractal is taken, we take any and every signal in that direction, but at these principles. We can use either AO or AC, so either awesome oscillator or accelerator. So we can add, a adding entry signals. We go long when AO crosses zero line from negative to positive values and short on the opposite scenario. We go long when we have three consecutive AO bars above zero line. Yes, I, will, I took some pictures, I will show you. We go long when we have three consecutive AO bars above zero line, but last two having higher highs. 
and that is opposite for the cell. Or for accelerator, we go along after two or three consecutive bars close above zero line. And we go short after two or three consecutive bars below zero line. Usually there was method and uh, on an original chaos system which implied that we take three consecutive bars above zero line. Sometimes it works with two, that is why I, I, I written two, but in original, original concept there is three consecutive bars. Now, just a little bit to talk for fractals, so you will know what fractals is. Fractal must have two preceding and two following bars with lower highs, higher lows on a down move. In an up fractal, we are only interested in the bars high. In a down fractal, we are only interested in the bars low. So, let's say that there is basically a price and it started to go a little bit down, then go up and so on. And we see that fractal has appeared above this candlestick. Now, we will take a long trade only if that fractal has been broken. So that is, and that is the principle how I see it of breakout tra trading, but in trend direction. I will also, I took some screenshots, I will show you on uh, practical examples, how you make entries and adding to entries. So when fractal appears, you want to see the break of that fractal in trend direction in order to um, open an entry position. Fractal start is any fractal that is followed by a fractal in the opposite direction. So fractal start is any fractal that is followed by a fractal in the opposite direction. So this is up fractal, this is down fractal, and this is fractal start. Fractal signal is any signal that follows a fractal in the opposite direction. Okay, start, fractal signal. Now, in between, what happens is a sort of Elliott wave of a certain degree. So, in between is a sort of Elliott wave of a certain degree. So, if we have a fractal here and fractal there, in between we call that an Elliott wave. Now, this is how he made his system, profit unity. As we can see, in these examples, we had an uptrend, but let's say that we missed this trend because we do not know what will happen. Now, the, this candle made a low and a fractal here, and now we want alligator lines to go in this point. We want them to go like this, to have alligator lines open, Joe's opened, so we can take a trade. This fractal is neglected, we don't trade this because after this fractal has formed and this fractal has formed, market reversed this uptrend to the downside. So the alligator's line opened there, not there, to the upside. And we want this fractal to be broken. After this has been broken, we make entry placing a stop loss above last fractal's high. So if we made entry here, we will place a stop loss above this fractal. In this example, we see that this fractal is being broken to the downside and we would place our stop loss above this fractal. Now, there are two ways to exit the trade. The first thing to exit the trade is 
when those fractal when those alligator jaws start to close itself or go in opposite direction. What I would suggest is use the pivot point because sometimes you will get those moves chaotic. So for first entries we don't look awesome oscillator or accelerator. We don't look it for the first entries. We only count these into adding the entries, not in the first entries. So, again, we see that alligator's mouth are opened. You see how those lines are diverged. So that means that alligator jaws is opened. Now we see down fractal and up fractal. First we want to trade to the long side because they go to the north direction and they're open to the north direction. But at this point we didn't notice that any candle has broken, reached this height. So we stay out of trade. Then the candlestick makes a new low and a fractal appears. In this moment Alligator Joes are open to the downside. So we want to take entry at the break of this fractal here. Entry two pips below the fractal and you can see basically there is probably there was a pivot point around there and you can see when those lies starts to intervene again we close the trade. That is why I'm saying that is better to use it on higher time frames. Okay? Now, what about adding to positions? So let's say that we have made an entry here. So this was our first entry. The price was going down, down. Okay, we maybe traded, we didn't trade it. But at this point, Alligator Jaws shifted to the upside, making uh, two fractals to the upside. Now, why didn't we trade this? Just because candlestick didn't break this fractal. So remember, on chaos theory, chaos system, we always need, for the first entry, we always wait for the break of the fractal as the first entry. So, alligator jaws are open here. Now, this is higher fractal, this is lower fractal. Then again, market makes higher fractal and lower fractal. Now, we are here. Where would we trade it? It's time to trade here at the break of this fractal because lines are open to the upside. Alligator is not sleeping. We have a fractal break and we go up. Add-on is, the first add-on is made when, the, look at this, this was basically a red histogram below the zero line and this is the first green histogram above the zero line. So, we can add if awesome oscillator makes either three consecutive closes above zero line or if the OSA musculator makes the first close after the red bar. So this is the red bar and the first close above the as the green bar is here. So we can make add-on. Also we can make add-on here because we have one, two, three consecutive closes of accelerator and also higher highs of accelerator in north direction. So it's green above the zero line, three consecutive closes to the upside and this is the candle which gave us also the signal for add-on. So is this clear to you how you make add-on entries on a chaos system? If it's unclear, tell me and I will repeat it again. Yeah, through add-on again, no problem. Okay, let's go through add-on again. 
Look at this. We make the first entry here. Okay, this is our first entry to the upside. Why? Because Alligator Joe's has formed an uh, interwin. They from the bearish to the bullish. And this was when Alligator was, we cannot say sleeping, but when he opened Joe's in north direction. And this is the direction to the upside. This fractal has not been taken out. This fractal has not been taken out. So this is the fractal which was taken out at the time of entry because alligator is open to the north and this candle broke the fractal to the upside. So that is our first entry. Now we look to awesome or accelerator for additional entries. For awesome oscillator we need let's say three consecutive closes with higher highs above zero line or red close then green close. Immediately after the red close we need to see a green close. So that is a switch from red to green on this indicator to make additional entry. You can see that here it was a time when it was a close from red to green. Also here you can see th this was red, red, red and in this point also it was a green close. Although that is not big but it was a signal to go long. So look at this. Okay we made entry there then we had red, red, red but none. Yeah this should be neglected because this red basically didn't close below. It needs to close below then above. We can see that this is the candle which closed on awesome oscillator this let's say histogram closed below the zero line and immediately after it you see a green close. So that is a first signal for a long. Uh, lines were sleeping so uh, yeah it's a good question. It's a good question JS. Uh, we now this is a little bit uh, of uh, we can discuss this why because I have noticed then the lines are closed when there is a consolidation period and here basically the jaws are really closed in this example this is not uh, because in this example we see that lines have already been open to the upside but in this example we can see that lines are basically they were closed but you can see that that is, that is basically uh, uptrend with retracement so there are times when you can take the trade but as add-on trade not as the first trade but as add-on trade so you see here there was a close below the zero line and subsequent next close so we wait for the first close after the close of below the zero we wait for the first close of the green line above the zero and this was it also accelerator gave us three consecutive highs here so we can make head on there so basically you can close the trade but you know market has changed that is why I'm talking about uh, you need to test this in practice to see if it works for you and I can say one thing for sure this system works only and it, it works in trending conditions but it works good in huge trends such as GBP dollar trend this was basically the start of uptrend so it works great in trending conditions second example we can see again entry lines are open to the north side here you can see the entry here and we made the first add-on here because we have first three consecutive higher highs on accelerator you can see it here we see three consecutive higher highs and on the third close we can make add-on now also here 
three consecutive higher highs, you see and now this is perfect trend, but we won't get that very often. You see how those lines are aligned to the north side, they're not sleeping, they're going to the north side. Also, we can say this is the close below the zero line and the first close above the zero line happened there. Again, you see, lines are entering, they're sleeping, but if you made entry here, you would be in profit. So for add-ons, I think it's uh, perfectly okay to take the trades because that indicates, uh, basically, that indicates uh, congestion, that indicates a retracement in uptrend. And usually the lines would be like this. So that can be played out as breakout trade, from my point of view. And also you can see it here. You can see one, two, three. This was the first, this was the second, this was the third close. And you made add-on here. That is how Bill Williams created his profitunity method. And also it's important to say that if you go with this kind of trading strategy, you need to imply very strict money management rules. Because you have add-on trades in, uh, in your... Uh, it is, this is not intraday uh, trading strategy. This is basically intra-week strategy because it's, it uses scaling in. It uses adding to a trade. You need to calculate possible number of add-ons to your money management. So if our maximum lot size for this trade is 0 0.5. We would probably open 0 0.3 here and then add 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1. So usually when we trade uh, chaos, we don't go with full risk at the first entry. We need to make space for those add-ons. All of these indicators are integrated into your platform. So you can test it, you can open your chart, add those indicators onto your chart and see how they, be they behave on your chart and test it. So you need alligator, you need fractal indicator, you need awesome oscillator and you need accelerator and of course pivot points. So uh, yeah, a question. Did you not say that you would close the trade when alligator lines got mixed up, not take a second position? That was uh, Bill Williams state, uh, statement, how he made his system. I personally, because I am a trader, I would use my common sense. So if I, let's say that I, I have opened a trade here, okay? Let's say that I have opened a trade here. I would probably, if I make an entry here, I would probably not close the trade here because I would look at this as basically a consolidation. But if those lines went in this direction, then I would probably close the trade. So, from Bill Williams' point of view, we should close the trade when this thing happens. But from my point of view, I would not agree with him because I see this as a consolidation in a bullish trend. So, you need to test it yourself. I don't trade chaos system. I know the principles and I use my common sense to look at it, but I have, you know what I trade, Camarilla MACD, my own proprietary method, but I can also always discuss, even if he was here sitting beside me, I would tell him, Bill, okay, why didn't you look at this point as a, basically a consolidation, as a retracement in a trend? I would like to know his opinion, because basically here, if you look, if you draw a two trend lines, you can see that this is consolidation triangle. So from my perspective, if I see this kind of triangle 
this is basically a uh, flat bottom descending triangle but in uptrend you can see that this is uptrend I don't need alligator lines and you don't need alligator lines to see if it's uptrend because this is uptrend higher highs higher lows higher highs higher lows and there is consolidation period but also some oscillator went from negative to positive here in uptrend this is great I think that awesome oscillator works wonders in trending systems and also accelerator made three nice add-ons to that trade which were all profitable so the first strength lies in a chaos system because it give, give us really many many entries but within a strong trend it even get us more trend, uh, more entries than we would have with uh, standard price action methods. If I traded, let's say price action, uh, if I would, if I compared price action to chaos theory, I would probably had much uh, uh, many. I would have, uh, I can say, uh, less entries than than chaos system. I would probably not make entry here or here or here. But the strength in itself lies because I'm waiting for a pullback, you know, my way of trading. I'm waiting for a pullback. Sometimes those pull, pullbacks are big. But in his, how he did it, he basically used awesome an accelerator for additional entries. So if you ask me about this kind of what should we trade it here or there, well, basically, I would say use your common sense, and if you see that market is uptrend or downtrend, you can place a trade, but not only the only exception if the if those lines were going to the downside. Then, of course, you want to take short entries, and this how I look is just a consolidation, and that is my opinion because when Bill Williams traded this 20 years ago market was different no market was uh, much easier to trade especially if there were some computers because trading was uh, was not for everyone who who wanted to trade uh, is not the only measurement of a trader because we could trade only if we have big money on our account today there is a possible for you to trade if you have uh, $50. Uh, 20 years ago, that was not a possibility. So Bill Williams made his system in a different time. That was a completely different time. Not time zone. That was completely different. It was era. It was different era, but also it was different structure of the market. So uh, very often, I will present you with uh, various strategies and systems and I will discuss it. I will not follow it blindly. I will always say my personal opinion about that strategy or a system. And I will always compare that kind of strategy to my Camarilla MACD. Because all of those analysis which you read and which you read intraday, they are done but my proprietary method called Camarilla MACD. So all of those systems can be compared to it. And I will always tell my, my honest opinion. So in this example, I told you how Bill Williams deemed that his system should be traded. Now I have also my opinion that this kind of consolidation can be traded in strong trending markets. I don't say it can be traded in every kind of the market. But if you see that the price is indeed in uptrend, this will look as a consolidation. Okay? So look at this example. The, the price basically the price basically went down, down, down here on a on, uh, Histogram, histograms went down, but the price continued to go up. And if you see this, basically this is probably the green, but we cannot see the chart. One, two, three consecutive 
closes and next entry would be there. And look at this, these lines. They're still pointing to the upside. But I think that trends probably were much bigger some 20 years ago. So probably when Bill Williams looked at his chart, they would, they, he would usually see this. Lines going like this or like this. There were no many possibilities for this kind of consolidation in trending markets. So that is how I think you can do. Of course, these are ideal conditions to make add-ons. But also you won't have always those ideal conditions. So in strong trends, if you want to listen to me, then in strong trends such as is this, this is Euro Japanese Yen, but also we could compare it to, to dollar yen, to uh, pound dollar, those strong trending pairs, not on Euro dollar because Euro dollar is not trending very strongly now. So you can see that in this pair, in this occasion, this can be deemed as a consolidation in a bullish market. The only exception is when the market goes to the downside, those lines go to the downside, then you know that market is probably going to shift the other way. Okay? So, uh, we will also have an additional webinar. I'm not sure about chaos profitunity, but I will have some price action webinars. Well, I will teach you from basic price action systems to more advanced price action systems. And I will always say my honest opinion, I'm not an author of this method, but I can have my personal opinion as a trader. So it's up to you to listen to it or not. But I will always say, okay, let's discuss about this. So another question, uh, can you explain how we choose the entry point based on fractal? Of course, you can see that in this moment, market was going to the upside. You also, you just, you don't have to look just at those lines. You see this is low, this is high, this is low. So basically you have one low, one higher high, and one higher low. So this is called first swing. So in this moment you see that the market is going to switch to bullish mode. Low, high, and high low. This is the start of the second swing. Look at here. I can mark it up for you. In this moment you see that lines are also going to the upside. Joes are opened here. And at this point, Joes will, they, they, they will be a little, little bit shifted into the future. So you will see this. Because the lines are shifted into the future. And at this point, the fractal has been printed on the screen. You wait for the price to break this fractal two pips above to take an entry. So Bill Williams worked as a breakout trader. Okay, this is the first entry. Also here, you see, Joes are open to the upside. It, they indicate bullish trend. You see how those Joes are opened. But it's also easy to spot it even if you don't look just at Joes. Look at this. We have a trend line there. The trend line has been broken with a strong momentum candle and that strong momentum candle now is retracing. Now in this point the fractal has been made because the price didn't break through any of these fractals, it made another fractal to the upside. And Joes are open, uptrend, so at the break of this candle you make an entry. Stop loss on add-ons are usually placed below, in this, in this example, below the last fractal. 
So if you make add-on here, your stop loss would be placed below the last fractal low. If you trade short, your stop loss would be placed will be placed at last fractal above the last fractal high. Fractal indicator is used just by adding it to the screen. Open your MetaTrader 4 platform, choose indicators Bill Williams, and then you will have a full set of Bill Williams indicators integrated into your chart. So it's, uh, it's simple enough. Those are all indicators which are integrated fully into your charts, okay? So, if this is clear to you, uh -huh. would, like you, would like to ask based on your opinion, would you be looking to buy or sell for the last candle on the Euro Japanese Yen based on this screenshot? Mm. Uh, let's see it again. Would be looking to buy or sell for the last candle on the Euro Japanese Yen? On this candle, I would again look to buy. If you if you ask me about this candle, because I would buy only if if trading chaos theory, if this fractal has been broken. Because after the consolidation, we can go with another entry or with a possible add-on entry. Yeah, this is another uh, thing which I have noticed. If you have a trend like this, then you make add-ons. But if you have consolidation mode, then you can make entries based on awesome oscillator, accelerator, and also fractals. So again, I can see if you see that Joes are opening to the upside, we can take this fractal as entry position. This is also consolidation, so we can take this fractal as entry position. So after the consolidation mode, you can also make entries based on fractals when jaws start to open. So you will possibly see, if you look to the chart, you will possibly see this. Let's say this will be your chart. You won't see this. You will see these fractals and because lines are shifted to the upside, you will see that jaws are open here. So you would possibly could make first entry here and first entry there, not just add-on. So after the consolidation, it's good and it's fine to use fractals as entries if Joes are opened. Because as I say, alligator Joes are shifted to the upside, you will see those lines opened or closed to the upside or open to the upside or downside just a little bit to the right side in the, into the future. When you say a break of the fractal, does you, do you mean the fractal or the high low of the bar? The, the fractal itself. The fractal itself. But you see, the fractal itself is usually connected to the high of low. But again, I would wait for the touch of the fractal, not the, maybe a clear break. So basically, you can basically wait for the break of the fractal, but what, I, what you see here is, uh, let me show you clearly. Let me show you clearly. Uh, this, you see, this, this is fractal. I would possibly trade when I see that this, this low of the printed fractal has been broken. Not here, but here. That would imply that also a candle has broken through the prior candle high or low. In this example, you can see that you see that the fractal is not broken. This high is indeed broken, but the fractal was not broken, not touched. So you can go with this or this. 
Of course, use your common sense. Try to backtest it a little bit, then you would see whether it is better to wait for the complete break of the fractal or maybe just a this tiny bit of the lower part of the fractal. Is it look to buy because based on the upward trend? Yes, uh, if, if jaws are open to the upside, you look to buy at the break of the fractal in, to the north side in uptrend. In this point, we can see that the fractal is broken. So this candle is a start of new, new, or let's say, no, it's not a perfect example. This is consolidation. And this is basically the fractal. So this can be either add-on or a possible new trade because you will, you will also see this. So the jaws are open, you can make it there. And there are another kind of, you see, but there is no consolidation. If you missed this trade, you could possibly have a trade open also there. Because you, you need to use your common sense. I would, I, if I miss this one, I would open it here. Because I can see that this candle is the start of a uh, new uptrend and if this high has been taken and this fractal has been taken by this candle usually candles will be aligned to fractals so if this candle broke the fractal it will also broke the high of this candle so you can see how the price went to the upside but judging to my opinion and if you want to take this that into consideration those lines are only helping us to see a possible trend now and into the future. But being a price action trader, I don't need these lines. But for, for some of you who want to trade a little bit different, it's OK. And again, use it on higher time frames, not on lower time frames, because they will make a whipsaw on your charts. OK? Okay, guys, if you don't have any more questions, we can conclude the webinar. I would, I would like to ask you to sign in, of course, for a weekly recap. It, will, it is pro, for, of immense help to you. And also our trading lab and, of course, price action trading, which we will have the first part of price action pattern system presentation. Will you have a Camarilla and make this strategy webinar? No, Brian. No, uh, that, that requires a lot of time and that is what I do to my personal students. Uh, it's a complicated method. It requires a lot of knowledge and I have invested a lot of time into, into uh, making Camarilla MACD. So basically, I only teach that to my personal students. And that is basically one month of a time, 15 classes. So it's, it's, not, it's not suitable for uh, those, those mentorship I do here. Uh, it requires a lot of knowledge. It requires also, uh, I have invested a lot of time. So you know, it, it, it's uh, for paying customers only. But some of those, some of those principles, free principles of Camarilla MACD, I always mention you guys, I always mention you in my analysis. So when you see this, let's say Spiders Den on Forex Factor or here on, on the Admiral Markets, you can see all of these charts are based, are based on Camarilla MACD. Every single of them. And that is free to you. I do it freely. And you know, uh, it's, it's, well, it's a gift to you who are, who are following me and other markets. You see, daily analysis, 
all of those are done by Camarilla MACD. So you can grab those free stuff along with my free analysis. Okay? And this will be of uh, much help if you maybe one day you want to learn Camarilla MACD trading. You need to have prior knowledge of price action. So you see, price action trading. I will teach you every month how to trade price action. And many of those principles are integrated into Camarilla MACD. Not, of course, all of those, but I will show you how to trade price action. We will have, I have scheduled three sets of price action. One for January, then for February, then for March, and I will show you from basic to advanced. Camarilla is expert mode. Okay? So, guys, that was all concerning chaos theory. Try to uh, try to experiment with it and see how it goes. See how it goes. It can help you, but always, I say, always use your common sense. I will do next set of analysis of four or five currency pairs on Monday. And for the rest of the week, read my analysis on Admiral Markets, Spiders Den, Worldwide Investment. I will possibly make new setups and new analysis of different pairs. Backtesting is the best thing, always, guys. Always backtesting is the best thing. Ante, I, I agree with you. Backtesting. Nothing can be traded without backtesting and demo trading. It will serve you for your own good. You will save the money. And it's free, of course. Backtesting is always free. So, thank you for attending, guys, those webinars. We will have, as I say, new set I have scheduled till March, and possibly I will go after it. I have so many things to show you again. And, of course, follow, follow Admiral Markets, follow us, and sign in for price action trading. That is the first thing in order to to go to not just Camarilla MACD, but for those all advanced methods of price action. Thank you very much and talk to you soon. Cheers.